As this first goes out in uh, July 2022, I've just been a guest on the Mac Power Users podcast. Uh, if you don't know it, I'm, I'm sure you'll like it. So obviously there'll be a link below. Do explore it. But during the recording of that episode, host David Sparks happened to mention that this was out. Alfred 5. This isn't a writing app, and yet it was all I could do to keep talking on that podcast and not run away to buy the upgrade immediately. You know, obviously, I always hope, really, that 58 Keys is for you, right? I mean, I know it's you and I are talking, but I'm hoping it's useful for you. Today, it's me. I need to tell you about Alfred for the Mac. Hello, I'm William Gallagher, and this is 58 Keys, which as ever, as always, is for writers like you and me who use and who write on Macs and iPhones and iPads. Do subscribe because, you know, it's just, there's always so much to talk about. Clearly, obviously, today, that should mean uh, telling you what's new in Alfred 5. I mean, it's Alfred 5. I think you've guessed there was an Alfred 4. And you may also also high pitch there you may also have picked up that i'm a fan you, you you worked out the subtle clues so far so yeah i had version four in fact actually there's a 58 keys all about it it's just this time there's something slightly odd about talking about version five i mean it's fine it's just slightly different normally whether this was me telling you about an updated app or you were telling me i imagine We'd start with something quick about what in the world the app does, what it's for at all, and then we'd concentrate on the new stuff, wouldn't we? This time I would like, please, to leave the new stuff in Alfred 5 for a bit, leave it to the end. There's an art to the building up of suspense. In this case, though, I think actually the new bits are very, very good for particular things and, and particular people. And overall, the reasons for being a fan of Alfred, the reasons for being so keen to run, to give this company money for all they do, they're actually the same as they were for me for Alfred 4. So Alfred's like Spotlight in a way. You press a couple of keys and then you can say uh, search for something. But in that same search bar, you could be looking across your Mac like you would in Spotlight. You can search contacts or you can search Google. And I mean specifically Google nowhere else or specifically Amazon and nowhere else, specifically DuckDuckGo, even Bing, if you must, or even more specifically Google, but just for images or Wolfram Alpha for everything. Take a look at the 58 Keys episode, enthusing all about Wolfram Alpha and how we can use it for preposterously useful writing research. Alfred lets you do this as it lets you search countless places in close to countless ways. I'm sure actually that bit is countable, I just haven't counted. And actually, I am unlikely, I think you're unlikely to ever use more than a fraction of what Alfred and particularly Alfred search offers. But the thing is, of course, your fraction will be different to mine. And it is fantastic that it's all there. Plus, with Alfred, you can open apps, you can open certain documents, you can run, you can run particular shortcuts. And that actually is a feature that's been updated in the new version. Uh, you, what else though, Alfred? Um, well, look at this feature list. Uh, let me pick out there though clipboard history, clipboard mounting there. I sometimes I have several clipboard managers because I mean, it's a dull name, but it's such a good function and I'm daft. Plus occasionally I will have been commissioned to review some or other of them. But really the reason I have lots of clipboard managers as they're called is because this clipboard feature is so useful that very many apps include it alongside whatever else they do, whatever else I bought them for. And yet, out of all of them, it is always Alfred's one I use because it's so good, it's so quick, it's so useful, it's become muscle memory for me. On any Mac, right, you, you copy something, you go somewhere else, and you paste it. What you've copied is in the Mac's clipboard, and you can paste it there, you can paste it here, you can paste it a hundred different places in a row if you wanted to. Copy it, it stays there in the clipboard being pasteable forever 
until you copy something else. And then that new thing is in the clipboard and the old one is gone, except when you have Alfred. With Alfred and other clipboard managers, you can go back to that previous thing you copied or the one before and the one before that. With Alfred, you can go back days. It might even be weeks. You can choose how far back and I may have set it to just days. Not only though, does it just keep things that long? What did I paste yesterday? It's very good at helping you find them later. Um, or same thing, there's, there's one job I do where I'll, there's certain legal documents I have to read. And, and if I do then need to write about them, I always need to copy out something like five different bits of them so that I'm linking the right things, the URL, I'm citing the right source, I'm quoting the best bits, you know, things like that. It works out of five of them, five or six each time. With Alfred, copy the link, say, then immediately, no bothering pasting, just copy link, then copy the title, copy the citation, copy the quotes, and now go over to drafts or pages or Word or whatever I'm writing in, hit paste once, and all of them are pasted in as one, if I choose for that type of one. I could go on, I think actually I am already going on, but I am extremely conscious, right, that for all that I clearly use Alfred 4 a lot, and I'm now immediately using Alfred 5. I don't use it enough. It is just more than many apps. It's worth taking time to just explore these things. For example, uh, once I got version 5 and I was looking to see what was new in this, I found a new feature. It's not new at all though. It's, I didn't know about it, so it was new to me. And now I'm having this. Pick a file on your Mac in the Finder, press a key, and then either scroll this list of actions that appears or just start typing the name of one. Pick what you want. Uh, for example, I'm regularly email, emailing files to people. I am now doing it always using Alfred 5. As I say, that, that particular feature, it's new to me. It isn't new to Alfred. Many features though, I mean, many across all things, they have been improved overall, such as that one, actually, that thing of selecting files in the finder. Now with Alfred 5, uh, you can select many files or folders uh, all at once and work on them and work on them in one go. Then also Alfred 5 uh, definitely has more keyboard controls. Uh, it's added a lot of help and guides. And especially it's done that for one particular feature of Alfred that is the thing that has been most significantly updated. It's just that, well, you'll definitely never need to use this, but you also you might not ever happen to want to. And I have got my worth out of Alfred for everything else. The new feature, the big Alfred 5 update feature is to do with workflows. So I said I could pick a file and email it to someone. I, and I mentioned also that I could open a Google search. I could open a website. I could search Amazon for spanners. A workflow would let me do all of that in sequence. One button and they all happen in a row. And actually, if you put the time in, workflows in Alfred can do an astounding amount of things. You, truly, I I'm struggling to explain them because I don't know how to do it. But I do know two things. Uh, first. Alfred 5 has made it much easier, so much easier that for the first time ever, after years of using Alfred, I have now in the last couple of days created some workflows for myself. And also this is probably much bigger just because I don't know how to do something. It doesn't mean that you don't or that nobody does. And there are very smart people in this world, a lot of whom love Alfred as much as I do. Consequently, they make these workflows for themselves, and if they choose to, if they allow it, they'll share it. You can have their workflow too. So here's one. Uh, I didn't write, but I got it and I use it a lot. Kill process. Slightly violent name. I downloaded this from the Alfred Sites forums, and now I can use it by pressing the keys to open Alfred, just as I normally would, and by typing kill. I use a lot of uh, beta or test software and, and you know, that can go wrong. That's why it's beta, that's why it's being tested. It can lock up and things. Well, I don't really know why this would be, but uh, sometimes the image editor I use a lot, uh, Pixelmator Pro, it's like maybe I've overused it. End of the day, it gets into a bit of a tizzy. So call up Alfred, type kill, followed by the name Pixelmator Pro, or actually rather just the start of that name, hit return and it is gone. It is done, it's force quit. 
And then, actually, as it happens, I immediately use Alfred to get, launch Pixel Meta Pro again and get back to work. Or well, there was, there is this, there was this, this was useful to me. Open Alfred, type SC for shortcut, and you could run a Mac shortcut from there. You could, I mean, I did. I used to use that a lot in Alfred 4. Someone else wrote that as a workflow and they shared it. But the way they chose to write it, the way they decided to do it, it was to let you run any shortcut you've got that was near the top of your list of shortcuts. So I don't know if you use shortcuts and you have all those colored blobs of forever rearranging shortcuts to make some available. That's all past tense now, that's all gone. Because the workflow I made myself, I made my own little workflow that all it does is when I press a certain key, runs a specific named shortcut. And I can make up as many of those as I like. And I can make it up, I made that one up, because Alfred 5 now helps you build workflows much more than it did. So as well as improvements to workflows, the big new feature of Alfred 5 is the drastically improved workflow editor with its new fast way to find things that Alfred can do and then arrange them into a sequence that works for you. Um, it's so useful that I made that workflow for myself in moments. Just for myself, actually, I'm kind of struggling a bit now to imagine what complicated workflows. I mean, I wouldn't have thought of the kill processes one, but I know now if I do think of something, even if it's complicated, Alfred will make it easier for me to create that workflow. Uh, I should say there is a free version of Alfred and, and I know it's a generous one. Actually, I know it has a lot of the features that I've mentioned or, and that make Alfred great. I've just realized what I said there, Alfred great. And actually, in fact, it has many of the huge number of features that I haven't even mentioned yet, that I don't even know yet, I haven't explored yet. But I don't care about the free version. Forget the free version. Well, download it. Download Alfred from alfredapp.com, fine, but then don't bother opening it. Go straight ahead and buy what they call the Power Pack. That costs £34, which... Actually, let me find out what that is in dollars. There you go, about 40 bucks. Do it. Alfred is not a writing app, yet I am a writer. And if I go to a Mac that doesn't have Alfred, I think that Mac is broken. I mean, only for a second, but I really do think that. Uh, plus you saw just then, I wanted to know something, so I automatically used Alfred to find out. I, Spotlight is very, very good, but Alfred lets me just say, well, I want it for more from Alpha, please, because I happen to know and to rate that resource. Well, I wish I'd stop putting up this little pop-up over the result I want there. Alfred 5 makes it fast to find out things. It makes it quick to deal with files that you want to send around and things. And it makes it just about light speed to get on with things in the you know, cutting and pasting and the clipboard manager. All of that though, all that speed saving, it should add up to you and I having more time to write. Oh, don't look at me like that. You, you're the same. We're writers. We can't stop ourselves writing, but it doesn't mean we don't find it hard to get going sometimes. But let's do this, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Now take care of yourself, hey? Write more, and I'll see you soon.